Oh, hey, welcome back to my channel. I have the second part of my Miami haul video for you guys today. And so this is going to be mostly clothing and beauty, but no designer stuff. I decided that I'm going to do a separate video, so I guess a part three, which will have my design stuff in it. And um, that way it just allows me to kind of plow through this stuff. And well, yeah, there's a lot of it. So I'm going to start with the stuff that is quite neatly placed to my right, I've got to say, and I know it's going to be ultimate chaos when I'm done with this video, but this first item I got from Nordstrom, which is a department store, and it's by Wild Fox. The reason I got this, well, mainly is because it says, ugh, on it, and I just feel like that's so me, I'm such a, like, ugh, person. Is that a good thing? Well, I don't know, I just really like this, and it's really thick, it's hard to explain the material. If you're familiar with Wild Fox and their clothing, you'll know their tracksuit bottom material or their sweater material that's not knit. It's that exact material. And so it's really warm and cozy. And I think this is actually a pajama top, but I got it to wear as a t-shirt in London. And it's just perfect given that it's actually thicker than a normal t-shirt. So this was, if I can find the price, um, $82, which is quite pricey, but Wild Fox is always expensive. So I just couldn't resist. And I'm really happy with that. Now the second item is from Wild Fox. Now this is from Nordstrom Rack. So this is from Nordstrom Sale Shop. And these were originally $98 and I paid $54. It tells you the saving, 43% savings. Now I got these because they're great for London, again, in that they're thick and they're really soft. But the main reason, hell yeah, shopping is my cardio. <laughs> Love those. So the t-shirt I actually got in a medium because that's all they had, but these I got in a size small. So the Wild Fox tracksuit bottoms were from Sawgrass Mills, which is this huge outlet mall here in Miami. And I got some designer stuff from there, which like I said, will be in my next video. But I did also get some non-designer goodies from there. I saw these in the All Saints outlet store and I fell in love. How gorgeous are these? So they're slip-on skater shoes. They've got this really odd but cool texture. But the part that had me sold is, look, they're fluffy on the inside. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, but... Oh, they are so comfortable and they're perfect for London. You wear them without socks or with socks if you want, but without socks, oh, they're literally like the inside of an Ugg basically, but in these really cool slip-ons. So over the moon, I got them in a 38 and it says that they were $195, but I think they were reduced. I'm pretty sure they were reduced. So um, yeah, kind of useless that I don't know the sale price, but love those. Now this next item is from Walmart. Now you're probably thinking, did she just say Walmart? Yes, I said Walmart because it's like a tradition in my family to take like 2 a.m. trips to the Walmart superstore that's 24 hours and just stock up on goodies. I found this top in there and I was like, oh my God, I need that. It's so soft, it's so cool. I've been after one of these t-shirts for a while and I just love it. It's not the right size, but I'm, over the moon with what size it is because it's just the way it fits so it's a Guns N' Roses band tee and yep like I said I got it from Walmart it's incredibly soft and this one is um, an extra large or is it an extra extra large no this is an extra large and I love that about it because it makes it like an oversized t-shirt kind of like a dress but n not really a dress but I'm so happy with that and it was super super affordable $8.96 Another random purchase, I was in a bookstore with my mum and I saw this t-shirt because it's the kind of bookstore that has well, all different things like trinkets and gifts and so when I saw this I was like, okay, I need that. Not only does it have skulls all over it, so it's really cool, and it's really soft, but it has one of my favourite quotes which is, hell is other people. Like, you know when you're just having one of those days where you just can't deal with people and humans? Well, yeah, perfect t-shirt for that day and just kind of voices that for me, so yeah. Loving that. This is by Miles To Go and it was 26 bucks. I will link all of this stuff in the down bar, by the way. Another t-shirt, this one is from Vans. I was in the Vans store looking for birthday gifts for Luca because it's one of her favorite stores. And I saw this t-shirt, it was one of the last ones they had. And as you guys know, I'm a sucker for when it's one of the last items. So it's a simple kind of off-white t-shirt and then it's got a pocket on the front which has embroidered, wish you weren't here. <laughs> I'm just like, such a happy person. I mean, hell is other people, wish you weren't here. No, I don't know. I love t-shirts with like messages on them and um, especially kind of like funny ones or just, you know, ironic, sarcastic, the whole shebang. I love it. So this is called the Mischief Top. Retail price, $34.50. These next two items were gifts from my mum. The first is a beanie, the other is a t-shirt, both from the same place. Now, obviously you don't have to wear them together, but the brand is Rip and Dip, Rip and Dip 
and I just love this. Okay, look. So it's got a little kitty cat on the front, but when you fold it down, <laughs> hilarious. And the t-shirt is the same thing, except it has the little kitty cat in the pocket. Just too funny. My mum is always getting me either like really awesome or really hilarious t-shirts. So I will link that down below for you guys. From the LF sale, I got some stuff. Got this really cute little striped high neck romper. It's really creased, I apologise, but I will show you guys that much better in the split screen. Now, all of this is, was incredibly expensive uh, retail wise. 150 bucks, but it was like 60% off or something like that. The sale at LF is insane. I highly recommend going to LF only when it's the sale because otherwise, well, just expect really, really high prices. But when it's sale time, it's like, woohoo, I'm buying this stuff for like normal price. So um, I got some stuff from Wild Fox, like this bralette which has ice creams on it. I would not have bought this if it wasn't on sale because I'm not paying 65 bucks for this thing. And it ended up being like 15 or 20 bucks. So I was like. And so also from Wild Fox, I've got this little romper. It's so cute. It's to sleep in. It has no back. It's just so pretty. And this is in a small and this is in a small. I love their little bralettes in a left. So I got a couple both striped and incredibly soft, so literally right up my alley. This is the first one, and this is the second one. And it's got like a cage back detail, it's really cute. This was originally 58 bucks, as if, and uh, so was this. Whereas again, 60% off, so so much more worth it. Don't know why I'm flinging them around. Also from LF, I got this little ribbed high neck khaki top. I just really like that. Awesome for layering, awesome for wearing with high-waisted items, and that's in a small. I got a t-shirt with lots of holes in it. <laughs> Love this. It's very Eero inspired, kind of like the Brandy Melville one I have, except it's thicker and it's got way more holes in it, so it's awesome for London. This is in an extra small, it's by Emma and Sam, but all of this is from LF, and I don't know where you can find it outside of LF. I've tried, but yeah, it's really difficult. From First of a Kind, which is vintage, I got this awesome shirt. I love this so much. I love the color, I love the plaid or the like checkered print, and also how oversized it is. Such a cool shirt, and I'm loving all the frayed details. It's got big armholes, so you kind of wear like a bralette with it. And this, I believe, is one size. But moving on to the last item from LF, and this is also by Emma and Sam, and it is like a kind of marbly stone cropped t-shirt. I suppose, well it's kind of cropped, kind of not. I'll show you better in the split screen, but yeah, I really like that. Just all about patterns and textures and just soft things. <laughs> Popped into H&M really randomly and really recently. I got two items very different from each other. The first is this gorgeous long sleeved shirt contraption. I don't know how easy this is gonna be to show, but it's a cream shirt, it's kind of off white or cream, and it's got a low neck and then like a knot detail and it goes into this long open front split contraption. I just love that so much. It was $59. I got it in a US 4, which I believe is a UK 8. And uh, it's just going to be so nice to wear with like leather trousers or just anything really. So I'm over the moon with this. And the second item is actually from the men's department, but Arielle spotted this and she didn't want to buy it because she couldn't get much use of it here in Miami given that it's, well, hot here. But I was like, I will take it. It's an oversized gray sweater. It's, well, oversized, it's for men. And it was 25 bucks. I got it in a small. The reason I really like it, you're too close. You're too close. I love that. So yeah, it's like in my personal space. If you can read this. So that's it from H&M. What else can we move on to? I popped into a store known as Market and it's an amazing store for basics and just really simple items that you'll want to live in forever. So yeah, I popped in there and I left with this khaki t-shirt which is so soft. But what I love about it is it's actually quite long. It's like a t-shirt dress. You could wear this with like leather trousers again or you could wear it with leggings or something like that. So I love, 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 love that and it was 58 bucks, I got it in an extra small. And secondly, I got this tie-dye maxi dress, which is so lovely and flowy, and I just couldn't resist. So pretty, 
can't really show you guys, but I will show you better in the split screen how lovely this dress is. What am I doing? And the maxi dress was 78 bucks. I got it in a small to medium. I popped into this store called Celestial Treasures in Coconut Grove here in Miami, and they do like stones and, um, well, how do I explain it? You know, like amethyst and all the different stones, and then they have like trinkets and jewelry and all that. So I saw these and um, I just love them. They are mantra bands. One of them is live in the moment and the other one is gratitude. I just really, really like them. And it says on the top, I don't know how well you guys can see, this one says live in the moment and the other one says gratitude. And um, live in the now, free of past and future and to enjoy the present moment. And then the other one is remember to express gratitude and live by it. So yeah, love those. And I'm actually gonna put them on now. You can see a little bit better. I went for the gold ones. They also came in silver and rose gold, I believe. Really cool bracelets for like stacking. And you can tighten them and adjust them to your wrist because well, I have like child's wrists. And voila, how Cartier looking. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, moving on. When we first got to Miami, we popped into BCBG because they were having their sale. And I saw this shirt, which is actually BCBG Max Asbury Runway. So it's usually more expensive, but it was like 60% off with an additional 20% off or something. And I just love this shirt. It's so nice. Again, apologies because it's been in the bag for a little while, so it's kind of creased, but I love it. I got that in an extra small and it says that it was $400, but I know I did not pay that much money because I just wouldn't, so yeah. Anyway, I popped into a store known as Alchemist. I saw this t-shirt and I thought that's so cool, need that in my life. It's by Hall of Fame, it's a medium, and it was $50. And my favorite item that I got from Alchemist is this poncho dress contraption. Oh, I love it so much. And it's so perfect for London with like tights and boots. How cool is that? I love it. It's like a scarf dress. It's by Koza, K-O-Z-A. It's a large, so it's intended to be a little bit more fitted, but as you know, I like that kind of oversized look. And this was, I think it was like $300, but it was in their sales section, and I love it so much that I couldn't resist. It's called the Elise Herringbone Black Dress. I just couldn't leave without it, so. Popped into Urban, where I got a few items. This incredibly soft, really cool ribbed dress. And this is quite bodycon. It's in like a wine, ooh, it's in like a wine color. And it's a little bit sheerer on the like knee part. I'll show you guys better in the split screen. But this is by Sparkle and Fade. And I got a size medium, 54 bucks. I didn't want it to be like too fitted. I wanted it to be kind of a little bit more of like a relaxed fit. Oh, Alan's here. <laughs> hey boy. Hey, yeah. Mm. Who are they? What are you doing? Oh, what's that? And from the sales section in Urban Outfitters, this is by Finders Keepers, the label, and it was reduced from $160 to $59.99. I got this in a size small. It's striped, so naturally I was drawn to it, but it's a knit sleeveless dress, and I just think, again, perfect for London in the winter time with tights and boots because it's got a polo neck really soft and warm and I'm really happy with it. Yay! Got three beauty items from Urban Outfitters. The first is the Hair Bliss Organic Repair Oil, which I'm really excited to try. That was $18. I got the Sigma, what is it? Winged Liner Brush in E06 from Urban Outfitters. That's $14. Look at this, the perfect winged liner brush. And last but not least is the Mermaid Hair Shine Spray. I am obsessed with the Mermaid Hair Conditioner and that will be in my favorites video, but the lady in the shop said that this makes your hair smell incredible. And then Ariel went and bought it and said that it's just so nice, so I got it too. So that's it from Urban Outfitters, but a random little purchase that I made. Look at this collar. I got it for Steli. How cute is that? I found it from a pet store in Coconut Grove, but the brand is Furry Friends & Co. Can't wait to see the doggies. Popped into a store known as Taj and they do really gorgeous bikinis and cover-ups. And I saw this top and I couldn't resist because it's so beautiful. I'm loving the Moroccan vibes with this and the detailing that it's got along the neckline is just so beautiful. I feel like this will look gorgeous with a pair of jeans. So I'm over the moon with that and the detailing goes all the way around to the back. So pretty. Not entirely sure how much this was. I believe it's quite a lot because it's handmade and it's silk, but I will link it down below. 
beauty product time. I popped into Ricky's NYC, which is actually in Miami. And look what I got, guys. Z palettes. I am so excited about these. Apologies about the glare. But these are palettes that you can basically customize with your makeup. You depot it and you put it in here. It comes with little sticky things and then you can stick them in there. It's just a much easier way of transporting your makeup and I'm so excited to have gotten my hands on these because Desi is always raving about them and I love Desi. I will link Desi's channel on the down bar just in case you don't know who Desi is. And I got this anti-blemish prone mask from Ricky's to try. The reason I'm holding it like that is because of the glare. Uh, but yeah. I've heard wonders about these, thanks to Zara, Moldy Fruit. I will also link her channel down below. But yeah, she said that these are really good, so I thought I would give one a try. From the NYX section of Ricky's, I got the gel brow pencil. I used the one by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it's running low. And Ariel said that this is much more affordable, and it does the same thing, so I thought I would give it a try. I also got this really cool pen that I think is like awesome for Halloween or clubbing. So it's called the Beauty Mark pen. They have star, heart like a swirly thing. I went for star, so you could put it on your face, you can basically put it wherever you want, and what it does is, it, it looks like a tattoo, I'll do it on my finger to show you. How cool is that? Now, it didn't come out perfectly on my finger because of my finger wrinkles, but I think it's such a cool concept. And okay, I am obsessed with matte lip creams like everybody else's at the moment, and I saw this LA Girl one in, what colour is this? Um, dreamy. And I just thought it was really pretty, so I would give it a go, and I really like it. Maybe I'll put it on now. Really nice and natural. Anyway, I went into Macy's because they stock the Anastasia Beverly Hills products, and I got one of these. Yes! So this is the light one, and I am so excited to use it. I also got one of the lip glosses. This is in Dainty. And I thought I would give her eyeshadows a try. This colour is gorgeous. It's called Truffle Glitter. And it's just a really, really pretty colour. I'll show you guys a swatch in like the split screen. And last but not least from Macy's, I got an OPI nail polish in Black Cherry Chutney. And it's like a perfect colour for the winter time. Over the moon with that. And moving on to the last bundle of products from Sephora. I got this mask to try. I'm a big fan of this brand. I'm not gonna say, is it Boschia or Boscia? I don't know. But yeah, thought I would give that a go. I'm a fan of a sheet mask. I got the Buxom True Nude Lip Foundation in, which color did I go for? Hmm, Revealed. But It's My Ray Ray raves about these and so does Zara Moldy Fruit, who is kind of like my go-to woman when it comes to what makeup products do I need. Uh, so yeah, I kind of went ape in Sephora thanks to her. I got one of the Lancome Sourcy Tint, which is a long wear eyebrow pen. Now this pen is so precise and amazing and I personally got it because I think it's perfect for this area of the eyebrow. Excuse my shininess, I mean the window is right there. I just find it can be quite hard to get natural hair strokes in that area of the eyebrow without it coming off like too square. So this product for me is just amazing. Also from Lancome, I got another one of the Sils Booster XL, which is the white mascara that you apply before your regular mascara. I got a new one of these because I no longer have eyelash extensions and I feel like it makes the world's difference. It literally makes my eyelashes look like I have eyelash extensions when I don't. And this mascara is also a huge one to thank. It's by Sephora. It's the Outrageous Volume Mascara and it's got this insane brush. I love this mascara. I am thriving for it at the moment, especially paired with this baby. They're like a power couple for my lashes. Literally obsessed with these. I also thought I would try Sephora's Highlight and Contour Duo. This one is in um, tan matte and it's like the NYX one, but it's the Sephora one, and it's super creamy. I'm actually enjoying the highlight end more than I am the contour end, but it's an overall good product. I would recommend swatching it if you can, but yeah, I'm liking it. And last but not least from Sephora is the Rouge Infusion Lip Ink in Rosewood Elixir. This is a really natural, pretty, glossy colour, slightly pigmented and really pretty, so if you're after like a glossy look with a bit of colour, this is for you, and that's what I was after, so it's also for me. 
So that is it from Sephora. But I have a few more items to share with you that I ordered online and those are right next to me. From ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I couldn't resist. I got two of her highlighters, So Hollywood and Starlight. So Hollywood is a little bit more golden, but it's gorgeous. So perfect for me right now while I have a tan. And Starlight is, as you can see, a lot lighter. So it'll be perfect when I go back to being a Casper the Friendly Ghost and like my pale self back in England where I have no tan. But it's okay, loving those. And I got three of the matte lip creams. Which ones did I get? These are the three that I went for. This darker one is Heather's, this middle one is Pure Hollywood, and this is Dusty Rose. My favorite that I've worn the most has to be Dusty Rose. Uh, Pure Hollywood is a little bit light for me at the moment, but they're actually really nice mixed together, and I have yet to wear Heather's, so I'm just really grateful and chuffed that I managed to get my hands on any of these. The struggle is real when it comes to finding these. You go online and they're sold out of most of them, you go into Macy's and they're sold out of all of them, so it, it was a bit of a struggle, but I got some and I'm so happy, and I would highly recommend them if you guys are after them too, because they are worth it, I'm not gonna lie. So we've come to the end of my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long one, but stay tuned for the next part, which like I said, will be my designer items. But for now, I will see you next time. Mwah. Laters. Shine